guys, it's Mickey from Is This Southern Life and today I am doing a thrift haul for you. I went to, crap, where did I go? I went to Goodwill today and I picked up a lot of great things and I wanted to show them to you. Um, I have the receipt right beside me so I can show you how much I spent and how much I think all these items would be um, in a regular store if they were regular price. So stay tuned. Where is my receipt? I think I left it in the car. Okay, we're gonna start off with my favorite thing that I found. I found this great big glass. I'm gonna say pumpkin, and I'm gonna say it's a fall decor because of the leaves right there. This is really big, really heavy. It doesn't say where it's from, but I love it. It looks like Pottery Barn to me. There's something, you know, I would see in Pottery Barn. And this was, I don't know. I think it was $6.96. <laughs> so, not bad. So, let's just say, um, I mean, if this was Pottery Barn, I mean, y'all know this would be like, 40 45 dollars but even even if it was hobby lobby i still think it would probably be 20 so paid 6.96 for this and i will bring this out in the fall decor i think it'd be really pretty and it really match with my stuff so the second favorite thing that i got and this is going to be kind of weird so you're just going to have to stay with me on this one um i don't know it might be too big for me to show in the whole picture in the whole video. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. This is just a piece of wall decor. Um, I think it's supposed to go up and down like this. And it's really farmhouse and has these wooden details on it. Looks like look like pool knobs to me. Um, this, let me see. I had it upside down. No, I didn't. I had it correct. Sorry. So this was bought from TJ Maxx for $29.99. I paid $9.99 for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it horizontal and then I want to hang tassels from each one of these to go this way. I think it'd be real pretty on a wall. So that was another really good find that I saw. Okay, I'm going to do the other big thing. Wait, why are you so dark? Why do I look dark? And then why do I have glitter on my face? <sighs> so another big thing that I found is this. It's really heavy. Oh. Oh, crap. So this actually still has all of the paper on it. It has not been used at all. So real, oh, you can see reflections. There's my window. You can see my cat. Um, I thought this was really pretty. This picture is really heavy. And this was purchased, let me go on the side, was purchased from Steinmart. And it was $39.99. And I got it for $19.91. Um, like I said, it's just really pretty. I really like the frame. And I really love this picture. Okay, something else I found. This is, might be a little weird to some of y'all if y'all are not, uh, if you don't have Mardi Gras where you live. But this is just a Mardi Gras candle holder. Um, I probably won't keep the candle. I don't really like it. But it has a candle pin on it. Well... Let me get it off and it's a crown and it can be um, Mardi Gras colors it is it's purple gold and green but I thought this was really cute I really like the candle holder um, and I like the pen on it too and so Mardi Gras decorations go out right after the first of the year, because that's when Mardi Gras is in February. And so this will just be with my Mardi Gras 
decor. And let me get my receipt. Let me tell you how much I paid for this. Um, this was one dollar and ninety-one cent for all three of these. Okay, so I found this really pretty pillow with all the tassels on it. Let me turn it around so you can really see the detail of it. It is that material has stripes in it. It has, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it has gold striping in it. It's really big. It's really pretty. There's no tag on this. Um, I know for a fact from buying pillows that this was probably um, an expensive pillow. And I paid $2.99 for it. Um, actually, all the pillows are $2.99, so I got that one. And I found this one. It's kind of that gold color. It actually has um, gold threading in it as well. Going down, little stripes. And this one does not have a tag on it, so I do not know what brand it is. But here's a zipper. Let me see if there's something in it. No. But this is nice. It does have a... I can take this off and wash it. And then I got this little pillow to go with it. I thought it was really cute. And so I'm going to put all three of the... Oh, gosh. I'm going to put all three of these together <laughs> I don't know if you can see this because I can't see um, on my guest bed and with the pillows um, I will be doing a steam sanitize on my dryer I do have that option on there so I will be doing all of that um, actually right when this video when I get done filming this video so I can go and put them on the bed and I need some photo frames so I found this one that was really pretty it was 99 cents it's really heavy um, it can fit a little picture in there and I, I don't know I just think it's really pretty then I got this one it does have a little bit of damage on it right there but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a black marker and I'm just going to paint over that and this one was um, 2.92, and it's really heavy as well I just realized there's no glass in it. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the no glass. But yeah, I just, just noticed that there's no glass in it. But I'm okay. Then I found these three photos um, of maps. I love maps. So there's this one. I'll get up close. And y'all, these were 99 cents a piece. And like I said, I have three of them. And then there's this one. And then the last one. I thought these were really pretty. I actually like the gold simple frame that they're in. I think I'm going to leave them. Okay, and then I actually got this for my little nephew. I thought this would be cute for, um, he's actually my grandnephew. No, I'm not that old. Um, but I have a niece that's actually pretty close to me in age, and she just had her first baby, and he's my little grandnephew, and he's actually named after my dad. So he holds a real um, special place in my heart. But I thought that she would like this for him. Well, the second grade just fell out. I'll put that back in there. So it has a place for every single one of his grade school pictures. And this is actually really heavy. Um, and this was $5.55. Oh, I'm with the little doors. Oh, the little doors open and close on the 12th grade. It was really cute. Okay, next I found some Christmas towels. This one, two, and three. And these were $1.49 a pack. They just say Merry Christmas. 
And down here they have snow written in different colors. Snow up there as well. I thought these were really cute. These will be really cute in my guest bathroom for Christmas. And they're pretty good quality. So $1.49 each, I did not think was a bad idea. And last but not least, this is fake. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you this is fake. I got a stool wrap and it goes on like this. I don't know if you can see, let me turn the camera down. Oh, I'm sure. So it just goes on like this. I do have some formal events going on this winter. I thought this would be really nice. Like I said, it is fake. It is not real. Um, I paid $4.99 for this. So in total, everything I bought, and I got a lot of stuff, I, bought, um, I paid $60.14. Not bad for all this stuff. I really think that the pillows and um, and that glass pumpkin, that at least would have been over $60 just for those if I was buying those in a regular retail shop. I will tell you, I did have to dig <laughs> for these items. Um, they weren't just, you know, on top. I like for the pictures and the photo frames, you know, I had to flip through a lot of stuff to find them, but I don't know. I like doing stuff like that. I like finding um, buried treasure. So, oh, this is hot. I'm gonna take this off. That is it for my thrift haul. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will be doing some more. The new house I live in is a lot bigger than the house that I had previously in Louisiana. So I'm having to buy stuff to fill it up. And this is a rental house. I don't know if you've seen it in some of my vlogs, but um, we are, I'm actually renting my house out in Louisiana and the new house I have is a rental and I'm not gonna spend a ton of money uh, filling up a house that I don't own and that I'm not gonna be in for over two years. So I am thrifting and I think I got some really good stuff, some nice stuff. So just uh, stay tuned for other videos like this. And if you like this kind of thrift haul video, I haven't done one before. If you like it, just leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, it's Mickey again. I just wanted to give y'all an update on the fur that I got when I thought that it was, um, when I thought that it was fake, it's not. Actually, I looked it up online. It's actually a vintage mink fur stole. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I don't want to own real fur. So I thought it was fake. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, if you know what to do with, you know, real fur, let me know. I guess I could try and, um, resell it. I don't know what to do with it though. So if you know, can you comment down below and let me know what I should do with it. It's beautiful, but like I said, I just don't want to own real fur, but I just want to give you all an update on that. So it, I looked it up online. Okay. So I paid $4.99 for it. Um, it, it retail is vintage. It's actually from the 1970s and it retails now for over $500. So that's just a, a good find, you know, a, a score, I guess you could call it. You know, if you like real fur and you're into that stuff. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, there's really no telling what you're going to find when you go to these resale, resale stores. So, I just wanted to give you an update. And if you can see, Kino is asleep right behind me and he's snoring. So, I'm sorry if you can hear it in the video. But I just wanted to give you an update on that that I found out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.